Hi everyone, Minky here with the next episode of Minky Mondays. Today we have a Digimon, another Digimon deck box opening. Uh, I did one two or three weeks ago and now I'm doing another one. Uh, which I purchased at the same time as the first one, the Ogumon Greymon one. And I purchased, purchased them at the same time, but I can't remember when, it was a few weeks ago. I can't remember the day or anything, but they're here now, so, we're, so I'm doing them now. So. Uh, so yeah, uh, as you can see, it's on the screen as well. So yeah, if uh, that if we're doing the uh, the Wolf of Friendship one, the Groomon one, I think they called it. I think that's the Greymon of of the evolution, though. But yeah, yeah we're doing that one basically today. As usual, or not as usual, but in this case, it's usual because it's Digimon. Uh, here's the deck mat, which I'm honestly not used to. Uh, again, I've not. Uh, Bear in mind, this has been recorded on the 6th of October, so this is actually been recorded uh, a week and a day before the Ogamon one goes out. But yeah, it's. um... Uh, I don't know, I just, uh, it's pretty much the same, it's obviously got the Guru wand on it instead, but. Uh, you know, it's um, still something, it's still pretty cool, I think. Uh, maybe I should stop doing this with Yu-Gi-Oh as well, because I don't really do it with Yu-Gi-Oh, because I'm so used to Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, I, I know what all the stones are and whatnot. But in this case, I haven't a clue. Well, not, I obviously have a clue, but I haven't much of a clue, if you will. Like, I know what deck is, I'm pretty sure I know what trash is. Um, on the deck mat, I mean, not, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, well, I don't know what these numbers are at the top. Uh, battle area, I assume that's for, like, ones you're going to attack with, I assume. Uh, security stack, I'm not quite sure what that is, uh, but obviously I do want to get into the card game. There's a few other card games I want to get into as well, which I'll hopefully, uh, you know, look into getting into as well. Uh, and I'll try and record my first sort of like interactions with them, my first proper interactions with them as well. Uh, I have a few the other card for another series I want to do, so I'll do, I'll definitely do that at some point as well. But um. Yeah, I'm not sure about other card games in a minute. I I, I mean, I've slept a few ideas of what I want to tackle, so I'll definitely look into that. But for now, obviously I'm kind of just branching out into Digimon a little bit. You know, uh, I mentioned Gokan last time, which I'll link his channel again down below. Uh, you know, so hopefully he knows a few things about it. I'm sure he does because he's done that profiles too. So hopefully, you know, hopefully I can learn a thing or two from him as well, if that's, uh, you know. And I bring, all, I bring him up as well because... Uh, again, he's a pretty cool person. I think he's, uh, you know, deserving of a bit of a uh, viewership. So, you know, go go check him out if you wish. All right, time for the cards themselves. So, first of all, we got. I'm, just, I'm gonna guess four copies, yeah, of a uh, Sunamon. I imagine the T is silent. Uh, Bear in mind that again, I don't know much about the series, so if I do, so if I do get something wrong, you know, feel free to correct me. Uh, there's two of the baby Digimon in the background. I think that's uh, that plant one is Palmon, or not Palmon, but I think they're the pre evolution of Palmon. And you've got the red one, which I have no clue who that is, to be honest. I mean, I I remember them. I just can't put uh, anything to them. I can't put any Digimon or any name or anything to them. And obviously the orange one is obviously the Sunamon. Uh, next we have, oh, a Lekmon. Okay, that's a little surprising. Although I guess that kind of, <coughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. Because, um, because I imagine, I don't know, to be honest. Three copies, or is it four copies? Four copies, okay, cool. Alright, Gabumon, our first... I guess rarity one, which makes sense because I think Graham, uh, I think Ogamon was a rarity one. Only two copies of Gabumon, though, that's a bit weird. I can't remember how many Ogamons we've got because it's been the odd day since I've called it that. If your opponent has a Digimon, gain one memory. I wish it was that simple. <laughs> okay, I don't know what memories are in this context. Uh, I'm not quite sure. I imagine. I don't know, to be honest. I guess we'll figure. I guess I'll figure it out as we go along. A Tapermon, which we got three copies of, or four copies. Four copies to get cool. 
but this card is deleted. When this one is deleted, the battle deleted. This one in battled. I imagine deleted means destroyed. You know, like you know, like it was you get um. Which, by the way, if um if a comparison can be made between Digimon and Yu-Gi-Oh, that's probably going to help me out a bit because like I, I know Yu-Gi-Oh well enough. Uh, so I I'm guessing deleted is Digimon for defeated or destroyed or whatever. Like I'll trash his graveyard, that kind of thing. Uh, next up, we have Gotsumon. Uh, four copies, I presume. I, I'm going to presume we have typically four. But everything of the weak ones, yeah. Well, this Digimon attacks the opponent to Digimon and lose two memory. Also, delete the Digimon that deleted it. Cool. Bakumon or Bakemon. I know, I know, I'm pretty sure it's not Bakemon, even though it's literally spelled Bakemon. At blocker timing, by suspending this Digimon, it becomes the attack target. Okay, I think I know what suspending is, or I think I have an idea, because I'm pretty sure some, I'm pretty sure Magic the Gathering has something like that. Uh, and I guess blocker timing then. Because it says this card becomes the attack target, I assume blocker timing is when the opponent attacks. I'm guessing so. Yeah, I'm slowly. I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. Um, and we've got four copies of that. Merrimon, nice. I remember this card from the anime. Not this card, it's this one from the anime. <laughs> imagine it, well, I was about to say I imagine we did play cards, but <laughs> they kind of did. But yeah, Nerman was pretty cool. Uh, ironically, because he's a fire monster. <laughs> On deletion, gain one memory. Because it's actually kind of cool like, how they put it. When this card is just deleted, gain a memory, you know. That's what that tells me. Four copies. I imagine it would have been kind of powerful. 6,000 DP as well. And, okay, never mind, that's what I'm saying, compared to the what I can kind of see, but never mind. Nice Gurumon. So yeah, Gurumon is the Greymon of the deck. Um, draw one card. When does you evolve and draw one card from your deck, then trash one card in your hand. Nice. So it's like a mini Graceful Charity kind of thing. And how many copies? Two. Nice. This is, this really is nice. How it just it just feels as well. It really does feel nice. Yeah. So I've only got to protect those cards as well. Which, by the way, I have put the deck. I put last week's deck, uh, last last Digimon deck, into a uh, a deck box. I'm going to be doing the same with this deck, and as well as another deck that I've got. Uh, you know, for now anyway, until because I do want to learn the game, and these are already pre-built, pre-built decks. So, that. Uh, Pokemon seven thousand DP. And it's, it, I, I bring this up because that f the, the Merrimon, the Fire one, I think, the Fire one was only 6,000 DP, so <laughs> that's kind of weird. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense though. Um, on play, you may play one purple level 3 Digimon from your trash without paying the cost. A purple Digimon? One purple level 3 Digimon. Okay, level 3 kind of makes sense. Purple though. What's purple? I guess these cards are all purple? I don't know about colours in this case, to be honest. I imagine it's um, like the attributes in, in Yu-Gi-Oh, right? It's like wind attribute, dark attribute, that kind of thing. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, next we have Mammothmon. Nice. Uh, what does this entail? Uh, when does this one deleted in battle, delete this one in ba a battle. Uh, blocker. Okay, cool. Four copies of that. Nice. Yeah, Mammoth Mon. I don't, I don't really have much to say about Mammoth Mon, to be honest. Can't really um, give you any like, any thoughts on it, really, to be honest. Bit of a shame. Where grew Mon? Nice. I mean, this one, to be fair, is kind of expected because it's. um. It, it's it's the Guru Mon deck, in it, so it's you kind of expect it. Um, but treasure one card in your hand, and to spend this Digimon. Now that sounds nice, because again, if it's Magic the Gathering that I'm thinking of, and if it's correct, I imagine that means you can just attack again, right? 
Uh, when attacking, once per turn, by trusting one card in your hand. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's the same effect, that's weird. Why does it describe it twice? That's weird, but okay. Plus, the same card. That. Alright, if I can actually get this card off, because I feel too here. I don't want to destroy the card, obviously, because, you know, it's, um... Okay, yeah, especially since it's this. Metal Guru Mon. Nice. Alright, sorry about that, guys. I had a bit of technical... technical difficulty right there. The camera stopped working for some reason. But hey, I fixed it by just unplugging it and plugging it in again. <laughs> anyway, so sorry about that. So, Metal Guru Mon. Nice. This is uh, really nice. I do like it. It's rainbow colored as well, a little bit. It's like rainbow shiny. Maybe rarity, I should say. Uh, what's. what's, what's um, well, Grim on this, I can't remember to be honest. Uh, one thing about, you know, Metal Guru Mon is that, like, when, you know, like, how in the anime it was like Greymon, Metal Greymon, War Greymon, and then th this one was like Guru Mon, Wear Guru Mon, Metal Guru Mon. You know, why is the Metal one in the middle of the Greymon line, but why is the Metal one for this one? at the most higher level, you know? It's weird. I always find it weird anyway. I'm not like it's not like really a criticism because I imagine there's law behind it. Cause I remember there was some law behind some stuff, but you know, otherwise I always find it a bit weird as a kid, you know. How it was like the second evolution of Greymon was of Ogemon was you know metal, whereas the third one for this one was metal. You know? And it, and it wasn't like a trait that they followed through with, if you will. You know, it's, it's not like, oh, the middle, oh, the, the middle um, Guru Mon was metal, but they made they made more metal. You know, it's nothing like that. Who's this? Oh, Skull Mammoth Mon. Okay, I don't think I've heard of Skull Mammoth Mon to be honest. So that's a new one to me. And obviously, it's a, it, it makes me think it's an evolution of Mammoth Mon as well, because that's typically the route that people go with. Uh, or the route that Digimon go with, anyway. Uh, and yeah, four, four Skull Mammoth Mons, nice. And finally, we get the last few cards of the deck. Uh, Matt Ishida. If you have two or few, if you have two or fewer memory, set it to three. Set it to three. Okay, so I guess memory is just like a counter system then, like you count, like, oh, I've got one memory, I've got two memories, I've got three, like, how many cards you got left in your deck kind of thing, except, or spell counters, I guess, I guess that's what it is, uh, when, all turns, when, one of your effects, oh yeah, the first one was a start of your turn effect, so that's kind of cool, uh, all turns effect, when one of your effects trashes a card, in your hand by suspending this tamer, gain one memory. Nice. And you get four copies of this. Right. Um, Lament of Friendship. Which I think this is another anime image. Although there's no background to it, I don't think. But I don't know. I can't remember, I can't remember what, where this is from, so. While you have a tamer with Madishda in this name, you may use this card without meeting its colour requirements. That reminds me, are these like um, skills from Yu-Gi-Oh? Are they called skills? I can't remember. Are they like those where it's like, oh, it's uh, the Make a Tsunami skill where he plays Umi, you know, or something like that. Is, that. is that what these are? I'm guessing that's what it is. Uh, main effect. You return one Digimon card from your trash to, your, to the hand. Then, one of your Digimon with Guru Mon in its name gains on deletion. Play this card wrap in the cast effect until the end of your opponent's turn. Nice. And we have two copies of that. Uh, finally, I think this is the final card. Yep, final card. Uh, Baldy Blow. Which, by the way, the other two, the, or the last one was called um, Lament of Friendship, which I think is like that. Yeah, Lament of Friendship. Baldy Blow. Delete one of your opponent's level 5 or lower Digimon. <laughs> security effect. What's the security effect? I guess that's like a trap effect. Uh, 
But yeah, that's really interesting that this one had like colour ones as well, you know, like colour effects and all that kind of stuff, you know, like that kind of stuff. It's um, I learned more about colours in this deck than in the Yogamon deck, which is a bit weird, but I guess it is what it is. I still don't know exactly what colours are, outside of, I presume, that attributes. But, uh, I, I guess it is what it is, It's um, I'll, I'll figure it out as we go along, you know. I've still got one Digimon deck left to open up as well, so I'll definitely open that up probably in two weeks time because I'm trying to, because again, like with, like with my deck trail house before, I'm trying to like alternate between them, so I'm trying to do like Digimon one week, non, you know, or, and then another thing next week and then followed by Digimon kind of thing, I'm trying to alternate like that. And I've only got like really two things I can really go over at the minute, so, you know, I do have a few... I have at least two other things I can go over, including the Digimon deck, so there's that to look forward to. And, uh, yeah, um, I don't know what else I can really say, to be honest. Uh, this deck, I mean, these two decks are Ogman and uh, Gururumon. I can't even remember its name, man. Gobomon, isn't it? Yeah, Gabamon. So those two are kind of like the two main ones. You know, which is a bit weird. Uh, I mean weird in the sense of like, I, I, I remember as a kid, like, I always wanted to see, like, I watched the anime and I watched it and thought like, that's pretty cool that, you know, Ogamon and Gabamon get like a War Greymon and Metal Gurumon kind of evolution. You know, that, that kind of level, you know, it, it, Pervert or Ultimate, I, I can't remember the level, but, you know, they get that high level. But the other sticks don't get anything like that, which is really a shame. You know, I, I would have loved to have seen, you know, all eight kids get their own, like, War Greymon leveled Digimon kind of thing, you know. So, you know, I, I, I was never, like, it, I think it's called, um, it's not called being character syndrome, I think it's, um, or protagonist BS, I, I can't recall what it's called exactly, but I never really was a fan, even as a kid, of, you know, the main character getting, you know, the evolution sort of thing, if you will. Like, I always wanted to see, because it's like, all eight of them, all eight of them are digi destined, so why is only one or two of them getting, you know, the the special treatment kind of thing, that kind of thing. That that's the kind of thing that as a kid, even as a kid, I thought, yeah, that's cool and all that. War Greymon exists, but why doesn't the other six get him? You know, why doesn't all eight of them have a War Greymon level Digimon? You know, and I'm not complaining. I don't want to say I don't want to take War Greymon away. You know, because there is kind of like some sort of like level of evolution, if you will, but uh, or level of plot or whatever you want to call it. You know, it's that's that right. But for the other six. They don't get anything like that, you know. So it's really a shame that it doesn't really, you know, it that it doesn't happen. Basically, it, it is really a shame. So, you know, something like that is definitely something I'd be interested in. You know, like when it, like I, I I can't really right now because I, you know, I don't. So I, I'm focusing on other things at the moment, especially since I've got like um, my replica deck project starting up soon. Um, but I would love to like get more into Digimon and then think how like um, make like my own head cannon, if you will, and think of like uh, okay, so War Greymon exists, a Metal Guru exists. Uh, what do the other six get, kind of thing, you know, something like that. You know, that that'd be interesting, I think. And then, you know, I don't know what else they can be because I remember some factors of the shows, of course, but it's like, you know, it's, um, you know, I, I can't, I don't know enough to really go into that much detail, if you were to say, like, okay, um, this, this Digimon person gets this War Greymon leveled Digimon kind of thing, you know, that, that kind of thing. I can't go into really too much detail there. But it would certainly be something I'd be interested in looking into once I get round to actually watching Digimon, uh, which that would be definitely interesting when I do get round to it. Especially since it'll be a nice nostalgia trip as well, I think. 
so you know that's uh, definitely something uh, you know worthwhile I think um, you know so I don't know what else I can really say about it to be honest alright well um, that's it for me today so uh, make sure to go visit GoCamp's channel as well by the way uh, because I haven't said that enough today and uh, yeah uh, thank you so much for watching and I shall see you very soon hope you had a minky Monday